hi, this is Elisa from 222 Hand Spun, and today I am carding a rainbow art bat on my Strouch Double Wide Mad Batter Drum Carter. You can see I've already started. I have uh, put down some of the, the pinks and oranges, I'm getting into the yellows now. So I'll just show you what I have here that I'm carding. I have a lot of fiber that I've dyed myself and some other add-ins. This is beautiful cultivated silk that I've dyed. I have recycled sari silk fiber. This is some carded recycled sari silk. It comes in a roving, so I just break off pieces of that. I also have this beautiful Surrey alpaca this is from a local farm. I got this at a fiber festival in the fall and I've just washed it. So it's minimally processed. It's very soft. It's beautiful. Uh, adds gorgeous texture. And I also have some Angelina fiber because what's a rainbow without sparkles? So I'll be adding that in as well. And here's some commercial uh, comb top. This is merino wool. It's very soft and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that. So one of the things that I like to do when I'm adding uh, some of the things that are a little more delicate fibers or th that I want to place directly in parts of the bat, I'll put them right onto the drum itself. So I'm just holding this gently as I turn the drum. So when I'm cranking it, and I'm just letting it drag, so you can see it's collecting here, it's just a little bit at a time. So I don't have too many lumps, but lumps are fine too. Uh, that's a nice way to apply it in an even way. The same thing with some of the sari silk fiber. I'll just add that right here. There's some alpaca locks that I've dyed. This is very soft. This is a, a extremely fine alpaca. And I'm going to just add that on there. And the same thing with some of the Angelina fiber. I'm going to go ahead and place that right here. And I really like the contrast. So I usually will um, try to layer some of the colors and contrast so you'll get nice little surprises in your yarn when you're spinning. You'll have little, little bits of color as you go along. I also have some beautiful blue-faced lesser locks. This is a lamb's fleece from a local farm that I've dyed and these are so soft and curly and I just love them in my in my art yarn. So I want to keep the lock structure. I don't want to put it through the the carter and the liquor in because it's really going to kind of shred it and pull it apart. So I'm just going to apply it directly to the drum and just gently tap that down. You can see it's in there and it's not going anywhere. Um, but that will come out with the beautiful little curly cues intact. And I will add some merino. Uh, this is top. People also call it roving, but technically it's combed top. It's commercially processed and dyed. And I love kind of playing with color combinations and color contrast. This sari silk, this purple, pops really nicely against that yellow, so I'm going to add that right there. So I like to go from one direction to the other, but really you could you could do it any order you want. There's no right or wrong. 
I just get in the habit of um, starting here and then working my way up that way. Um, and I, I just add a little bit at a time. You don't want to overload the carter, uh, but I also I have so many colors that I'm mixing together. So I kind of like to see how much um, so that I can space out the rainbow. Uh, and that's it. So thanks for watching and I'll post a video when I'm done.